back up. I am just so excited for this video. I'm so excited for this video. This video is such a long time coming because ages ago I did a P.O. Box unboxing and in that P.O. Box unboxing, that is a P.O. Box unboxing, but in that P.O. Box unboxing I got sent a hella ton of makeup. A hella ton of makeup. So because of this I'm gonna do a video where I just get to play with the makeup that you all sent me. Uh, I just, I just, yeah. Please, no one ever feel obliged to send me anything. I do this channel because I love makeup and I just love creating things and doing things. Uh, yeah. So, no one feel obliged, but to everyone who did send me stuff, thank you so, so much because I'm still, like, in, in a state of, like, shock. <laughs> in an absolute state of shock. There is one palette that I got sent, not one, not two, not three, but now four of <laughs> the purple palette. So, um, I, <laughs> I got sent more packages and one of the packages turned up like three days after I posted that P.O. Box unboxing and before I filmed this video I was like I need to do another one because something tells me that I need to open two of the packages that I just got sent and I'm so glad that I did because Jezebel has also sent me a palette <laughs> so I think by popular demand we're gonna do a whole entire purple palette video I have one from which one is this this one is from Jezebel then we have this one from Rebecca. And then we have this one which is either going to be Crystal or Lisa and Nick that I just found out because I'm terrible at reading. Crystal! So that means that this one is Lisa and Nick and I still have to change the little thing that I put up at the top there that, so that it says Nick so it says the correct name. And I'm also going to be using the mirrors set to me as well so I'm just going to try and chuck as much of the makeup that you all sent me into this one video and then yeah just let's let's just have fun. I don't know how many instructions are going to be in this but like you know what we just got Ourselves. I'm going to shuffle the palette. So we have crystal. Ah! My plans for today is I'm gonna have one mirror for like the lookings and then one mirror for the mixings because I know that you can mix on mirrors and I swear I'm gonna be gentle. Actually, I'm gonna use the one that I broke. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Anna. I'm gonna use this one that I dropped. It's still intact, but the handle's kind of like she's just have better days. My plans for this is I've sketched up this photo. She's not a great photo. I'm not an artist. Like, I'm an artist, but I'm not like an artist. So, I'm just going to do a trick that I did ages ago in my Tim Burton video. Uh, and I'm going to get a lot of the makeup from one of the eyeshadows. And I'm going to mix it with some of my, like, white consistency kind of stuff. Because I want to make my skin purple. If I go for vivid mood... Like, I think... I feel awful. I'm just digging into this palette look makeup is there to be used and have fun with um eventually we're gonna we're gonna lose product it's fine maybe i need a spoon i know that we have a small small oh there she is my family has this tiny itty bitty spoon crystal i'm so sorry if this hurts your heart but i swear i'm respecting the palette i swear that i'm going to be having fun with the makeup that you have sent me I promise this. So I've taken a nice little chunk out of that one. I feel bad. We're gonna see if this idea works. I'm gonna shake this up. And then we're just gonna start. Oh wow, so much product came out of that. I haven't even used this that much. Okay, then we're just gonna mix. And hope that this works out. I done screwed up. Okay, let's see if this. Well, she's purple. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna. Okay, we're just going for it. We're just going for it. Not super full coverage. No one's surprised. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. Oh, she's full coverage now. <laughs> I already look like Eva. No! I want to look like a lawless cheetah. She's on. <laughs> what are we now going to do? We're going to see if this works out. Is we're going to go for the next top one? The next top one being Lisa and Nick. So, I'm now going to get the same color, the Vivid Moon. I'm going to put it on... I think this brush, one of my fluffier brushes, just to try and set this and hope that like it doesn't go all like <laughs> but also hope that like it kind of gets a bit darker so that we don't look like Yzma. Okay, this is working. <laughs> I'm a genius. Now I'm kind of looking like Thanos. Ooh, that was a good one today. Sometimes art just has to go through this phase of <laughs> before it can look, oh, gorgeous. Stunning, magnificent. Who is she? I'm gonna regret this. We're gonna go for my eyes first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close up the Lisa and Nick palettes, and we're gonna go for the next palette. The next palette being Jezebel. Woo, this is a new one. Yes. 
Okay, so we're gonna go for the Jezebel palette now, and I'm gonna dive into which one am I going to dive into? Uh, we're gonna go for Deviant first. We're definitely gonna go for the lighter purple just to kind of set the eye makeup. I'm just gonna dive in and give a good helping of that. Um, blend that all around. I've got to get like better at like which way to like face myself at the camera so that y'all can see what I'm doing and so that I can see what I'm doing. It's a really fun mix. I still haven't really learned how to be a professional YouTuber, uh, but I do have a tick, so that means that I must be doing something right. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna get probably this brush. This is my Lux Crease. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go for like the darkerish kind of purple. I'm just gonna use the Jezebel palette again. And we're just gonna add some depth in my outer crease. So we're just gonna do like a classic kind of eyeshadow look for me. So I'm now gonna go in with the color Dungeon. Still with the Jezebel palette. We're just gonna use a teeny bit. We don't need that much. We just want a teeny bit of depth. Not a lot of depth, a teeny bit of depth. We are also going to do some winged liner. It has been a while since I've done winged liner because I got really into doing the like eyeshadow to blush and the winged liner just kind of breaks it up too much. So um, let's see how steady a hand I have and let's see if left eye is going to behave because she doesn't like being the same as right eye. Oh no, 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 no. Can't have that. Symmetry! We don't know her. <laughs> My body already doesn't know symmetry, but the crazy thing is is that like the scoliosis goes to the right side. So I can't tell if that's right side finally being a pest or left side being like, I don't need spine here. Uh <laughs> Spines are so overrated. <laughs> I'm such a did I snort? Oh my gosh, what is what is wrong? What is wrong with me? So then for my under eye, I'm just gonna get this smudge brush and dungeon the darkest color. I'm just gonna line my waterline. Well, like under the eyelashes of the waterline. And then I'm gonna buff that out with the like light. It's in my eye. And I'm just gonna buff it out with my like lighterish colors. Already, I am looking less like Gizma and I'm still looking like a bit of a gender bend of Thanos. Which like, that's cute, don't get me wrong. It's powerful. So we're just gonna get some of that Blood Queen. We're gonna smudge out the dark color. Um, I don't know how my brother manages to like have me do his makeup and like not make the like hmm kind of face. I love this. Can I be purple all the time? So the next palette is of course gonna be the Rebecca palette, Lucky Last, and then I'm just gonna go on the system again. The way that I do my cut crease. Ooh, she is an absolute mission, but she gets the job done. So we're gonna have a cute little intimate moment. Hello. I look like a purple Voldemort. Love that for me. Um, hello. Welcome to my channel. So I just get some of the stuff on my cream shader brush and I look down upon my enemies. And I just start to like dab on the makeup and I just pull it across. It's just easier for me to see my eye socket this way. Also, I have eyelids that tend to like to smush things. So it's really easy for me to also just kind of ruin the cut crease. None of that made sense, but it makes sense to me. Cool, happy with this one? Now we go on to the pesky baby cakes. Left eye! Everyone always has one of these eyes. One eye is an absolute legend, and then the other one is just travesty. Cut crease is now done, and left eye actually behaved today. So good job, baby cakes! Right eye, you always look magnificent, but left eye, Woo! Keep it up when it comes to the wing eyeliner. If you screw that up, I'm actually gonna cut you out of my face. I'm not gonna do that. I like you where you are because I like seeing, but at the same time, don't, don't cross me today. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so now we're gonna go with the shimmer shades. What I wanna do is I wanna put this beauty sleep, which is a shimmer, over the top of all of it. I'm just gonna put this all over this good old flat brush. So we're just gonna start patting that on so we get a good old shimmer. <gasps> Left eye, you smudgy! After I praised you, you betray me like this? Why? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You know what? Maybe I should just do a video left eye where I do all of my makeup and I like carve you out and then just don't touch you with makeup because you're being pesky little baby cakes. You don't deserve the glorious makeup. You don't deserve the fart. And I'm gonna flip the brush over because I'm a messy little goddess. And I'm just gonna get the darker one, the pink magic, even though she looks purple. Yeah, that's purple! Why are you called pink magic? It's purple. Like maybe because it's got like a 
pink kind of thing in certain lights, but I would still call you a purple. Ooh! I love that. I love that. Okay, and then just to fix up the cut crease the teeniest bit, I'm just gonna get like a f smaller but still fluffier brush and a darker shade. We're gonna go with Blood Queen. We're just gonna try and like feather out the edges a bit, if that makes sense. So just kind of like pat and then drag, pat and then drag, and then just keep repeating that process until like it's kind of blended out the teeniest bit. The only issue is, is I'm looking at this and there's no like highlight, highlight shade. Um, Crystal also sent me the blue palette and ah, yes. Okay, so the blue palette also has this like shimmery white, so I'm gonna use that for highlight today. So we're just gonna dive into that so that I can highlight my inner corner and I can highlight underneath my brow bone, even though I'm not sure if I really wanted a brow in this look, but apparently we got one because I forgot to block them. <laughs> Whoopsies! Okay, so we're just gonna highlight the inner corner. Ooh, that was a lot. Gonna be a really shimmery leopard. A hey, buffed it out. I'm amazing. So now we're back to the top. Top was crystal. Yes, smashed it. Okay, so for my brow color, I think we're gonna do um, We're gonna do dungeon this like really really dark almost black kind of purpley kind of situation That way like we still have a color that isn't natural, but she's like She's dark enough that she makes sense. I just want to look like the missing cheetah girl Was there a purple cheetah girl? I swear it was like Yellow pink blue Maybe there was a purple, because they all had like a specific color in that like jumpsuit kind of situation. Ah, oh, there was a purple! The blonde one. What was her name? I haven't, I haven't watched this, I haven't watched this movie. Dorinda? Is that how you say it? Dorinda? Oh, I'm so sorry. To any Cheetah Girl fandom people, I'm so sorry, I haven't seen it. I know that the movies exist, I didn't have Foxtel or whatever that TV station was called Nickelodeon, Disney, I don't know what it was. Anyway, I've never seen Cheetah Girls. Um, I missed out on that part of my childhood. Instead, uh, instead, I was watching things like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Charmed, Farscape. I watched a lot of weird things as a kid. I saw Dark Crystal when I was three and that scarred me for life. Get the shard, get the shard, get the gelfling. Um, <laughs> why did I make that impersonation? I didn't have to, but I did. So I just got this like brow gel stuff. Uh, she looks horrific at the moment. But like, we're just gonna keep using it because I do not like wasting things. Oh, they're looking thick. They're looking flabby and they're looking dummy. I'm gonna braid liner. <laughs> I haven't used liner in so long, so I feel as though this is gonna be really gross. She's not gross. Okay, amazing. All right, so we're gonna braid this. So let's have a cute little intimate moment again. And we're gonna see how well this goes. Um, I don't know if it's gonna go well, but we're gonna see how well it goes. So we're gonna start with left eye We're gonna start with the pesky eye. So a comment one time saying start with left eye So I did and then we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna see how it goes Essentially the liner that I'm planning on doing I'll pull out a little photo is like flick drag hope for best and then drag it To my mouth cool haven't done wing liner in a while. So let's go ham on it. We're gonna flick We're gonna flick we're gonna flick we're gonna flick left eye. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Flick not too bad. Oh, 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 okay, not too bad. Okay, then we're gonna drag. Left eye, you absolute goblin! You ruined my flick. Left eye definitely has some character consistency going on because. Oh! <laughs> Mmm, right eye looking good, looking so good, left eye looking chunky. So I'm just gonna cut my losses with left eye. So now I'm gonna go in with like the rest of the face because I need to get some contour going on, I need to get some other things going on. So for contour, I'm just gonna go in with Blood Queen. We're gonna see how well this goes. Alright, so... Oh, oh, oh. Alright, we're just gonna chisel out my cheeks. We are gonna really buff and then we're also gonna take it down because leopards and cheetahs have the same kind of like ugh, kind of face shape but like also now that I'm doing this I look even more like Thanos! I swear I'm good at this! I'm just gonna do my nose as well. 
Usually I do a cute little flick and a cute little flick, but I'm um, seeing how this has gone so far. I don't want to do that. Whilst doing my contour, I realized that I forgot to put on my eye feathers. So we're going to do our lashes now. I am all over the place. <laughs> so I'm just going to get my guillotines and we're going to just l -l 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 try again. Sprechen the English. I'm going to get my guillotine and I'm just going to curl my normal lashes without pinching my eyeball. Left eye, you've been a bit of a goblin today, so please don't do anything silly. I'm just gonna go in with these 3D Fox Mink, uh, the Ardell 854 lashes sent to me by the amazing Jezebel, and I'm just going to put these on. We're just gonna put these in between the pinch of eye, and I'm just gonna give a good helping of glue, and I always use a white glue, that way I can see when it gets nice and tacky, because it gets a cute little blue hue to it. A cute little oh, of a blue hue to it. While it's still drying, press on some of the excess glue so that this gets tacky, these get tacky, everything's fine, everything's superb. I'm just gonna do some aggressive arm waving. All right, she looks like she's getting nice and tacky. My eye also looks like she's getting nice and tacky. I usually kind of go up when I do this, and stick it in the middle. I forgot mascara. <gasps> I forgot mascara, no! Quickly, the mascara, I was focused so much on the glue. Why are you gonna get the clock? <laughs> now we do this. <laughs> when I'm like an absolute dream! Okay, and then I just use the pinch boys, just kind of blend them together. Just give them a cute little pinch together. Eye feathers. She makes a look. I'm sorry, but any look looks like a real look as soon as you put on some feathers. This eye versus this eye. Point case closed. <laughs> so now we're just going to make sure that left eye, she matches up. She feels the gloriousness that is right eye, even though she doesn't deserve it. Are these not fluttery freaking perfect? We're going to do the liner first before we do the shadows to go around it to complement it. So... Woofed. All right, so we want to do like some cute little C's, a little half C, and then like maybe a backwards number three. So essentially what you want to do is like make a lot of threes and C's, threes of like all different directions, C's of all different directions, until you fill up your canvas is essentially what we're doing. I also don't know if this is like cheetah print or leopard print, um, because I tried to Google it and Google just kind of kept showing me the same stuff. So I think they might be the same. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. I looked it up, I was like, leopard print. I was like, oh, okay. And then it was like, oh, also cheetah print. And I was like, that looks exactly the same to me. Like, I don't understand. Um, This is so confusing. The only thing I know is that a cheetah can't change its spots or something. But that's also like a little bit of a story, a little bit of a tale to like, once a cheater, always a cheater. And if that's the case to anyone who has dated my ex since I've dated them, have fun. I have no emotional attachment to them whatsoever anymore, except for pettiness. Cause according to them, only the pretty ones make it on YouTube. Like I may not have made it, but like also she definitely on her way. So, only the pretty ones make it, huh? As I said, no romantic attachment, but damn if I ain't petty. I do feel kind of bad for them though. In the way of like, I've been on a red carpet now. I've now been on a TikTok web series. I've had a few viral videos on TikTok. I'm like having so much fun just doing what I want to do with all the stuff that they said was stupid. So really, I think the main issue was them. The moral of this story is know your worth. I'm not sad, I'm just really concentrating on not messing up these spots. So I'm gonna go in with my Lisa and Nick palette and we're just gonna go for the dungeon. We're just gonna give a light dusting around all of the spots. We're starting to look a lot less like Thanos. <laughs> which I'm very happy about. Okay, and then we're just gonna get Dungeon and I'm also just gonna like do kind of like underneath and buff it around my nose. Then we're gonna go to the next palette again. I'm trying to alternate as much as I can. So the next one is Jezebel. Ah, Jezebel, see, I'm getting so good at this. All right, and then we're gonna get the Shimmer Shades. We are going to get that beautiful pink magic, even though pink magic is purple. A little bit of sparkle, sparkle on the inside of all of these. I also put some little ones on my eyebrows just to give a cute little what? And I'll just do a teeny bit of, ooh. Oh, that was actually a really cute idea. I like that. <gasps> ooh, okay, yeah, that works really well. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Bad idea, bad idea. I regret, I regret, I regret! Now we go in with the lines. I'm gonna do lipstick first, so I'm going in with my Fenty. 
uh, black lipstick. And I have to keep my mouth open so that, that way it doesn't charge into the hair hole. Because it charges into the hair hole, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really, really hard. Ooh, this is gonna go so badly. Okay, this is gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Everything's awesome. Everything's gonna work out fine. Okay, I can fix that. <laughs> I think I saved it. So then I'm just gonna start putting like little dots. I think that's it. Oh, she does it! This is so cute. I love I love I love I love it. I look so cute. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Makeup and sent me things to my PO box. Thank you so so much. Once again, no one feel obliged, but thank you so so much. And specifically in this video, thank you so much, Crystal, Jezebel, Lisa, and Nick. <laughs> Lisa and Nick and Rebecca. Thank you so so much because literally, like, I wouldn't have been able to do this look if it wasn't for what you sent me. And I feel fabulous. I feel so good. I feel so fabulous. I feel I just feel so good. I don't know what it is about a full face makeup that just gives me so much confidence and just gives me so much power. Like at the moment, I feel invincible. I feel like I can take on the world. Superman, where you at? Come fight me, you gotta lose! So now that all of our four beautiful purple palettes have been used to create this beautiful masterpiece, and because I'm a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, there's only one thing left to do, and that is a sexy, a slow nose! so cute oh my god oh my god oh my god but now that we've dived deeply into these palettes we've created this beautiful masterpiece set this low mess are done that is it for today's video um <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> i am sad Genuinely saying goodbye videos does make me kind of sad because I know that that means that later I'm not going to be able to talk as long to you guys in the premiere chat. Before I do say my final farewells, I do have one thing that's super duper important for every single one of you to hear. So we're just going to have a cute little intimate moment. Hello. Hello. We've had quite a few of those today, haven't we? We got to do some cut crease. We got to do some eyeliner. And now we get to have this one. Ooh! My camera battery is running out. New camera battery is in, which means that I can have all the time in the world to tell you this super duper important thing. And that is that you are perfect in every single shape, weight, and form. You are all the good things in the world. And I am so lucky because I get to know this firsthand. I get to see all of your beauty from the inside out, your hearts of absolute platinum, copper, gold, diamonds, all the expensive materials in the world. I get to see your beauty, your perfection, your magnificence, your amazingness, your incredibleness, your intelligence, just you're all over. Ooh! I am lucky enough to see all this firsthand because you guys give me this bright spark in every single one of my days. You guys give me something to look forward to in all of my days, all of my weeks, all of my months, all of my years, and I am eternally grateful for it. And there is not enough words in any of the languages in the world for me to properly express how lucky I am and how grateful I am for every single one of you because you are everything that is good in the world. But in me saying this, I know that I'm one of the lucky ones and in me being the lucky ones, there unfortunately has to be unlucky ones, right? There are unlucky people out there. Ooh, they do not know your perfection. They do not know your beauty. They do not know your intelligence, your magnificence, your incredibleness, just all of the good things in the world. These people miss out on all the good things in the world because they don't know you. They don't know what perfection is until they know you. They do not have their life as a whole in order until they know you. They only know the bad things in the world. They can't, if, if they don't know the good things, they can only know the bad things, am I right? Like the mediocre to bad things, they don't know the good things, so they only know like over here, they don't know over here, right? You follow me, you follow me. It doesn't make sense to me because they live with this void, not knowing your perfection, and they just go about their day. 
in blissful ignorance. So you know what? I say that it's time that we shatter this blissful ignorance. I say that it's time that we give these people's lives meaning. So I need you to do me one quick little favor. I need for you to go out there into the world and show them your perfection. Show them your beauty. Show them your magnificence, your intelligence, your incredibleness. Just show them all the good things in the world. Show them what the good things in the world are, right? We need some good things in the world at the moment and you are the good things in the world. So go out there and show them and give their lives meaning. And while you're out there, don't forget what your mother always says. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.